now you lost the job as an automation tester and now you are in between the jobs right I am a test automation consultant. I do have 10 plus years of experience. Right now, I'm not working. I was a contractor for a company based in Regina, and there I did quality assurance, test automation, into coding, and all that. Prior to that, I have worked in UK, and as well as I have done my BTEC and MBA in IT. I want to expand my reach, and I want to. Right now, I am utilizing the. GitHub Actions pipelines, and I want to learn more on the DevOps side so that I can move forward and expand my reach towards quality test automation as well as DevOps. Maybe uh, become a QA manager, test lead kind of a role, and I'm okay to move to the DevOps uh, side as a role as well. Now you lost the job uh, as an automation tester, and now you are in between the jobs, right? So testing as a career is slowly diminishing. As on today, manual testing is 90% dead, except for a few legacy application testing where automation was not possible. They are using some of the manual automation testers, but that market is only 10%. And automation testing as on today is 70% dead because most of the times AI can automatically write the test cases and integrate these test cases into DevOps pipeline. And DevOps since setup of test framework and test environment is a one-time activity. It can be done by a DevOps engineer and all the test cases and test framework, test suites can be integrated into the DevOps pipeline. So the need for automation testers has been declined because when once the DevOps pipelines started to integrate the testing pipelines, there is no need of automation tester anymore. Now, what is the best role to go? DevOps is definitely the best option. The reason being DevOps is also about automation, but instead of doing test automation, you will be doing delivery automation using some tools, scripts, and processes. But then DevOps over the time has become more of a code-based role than a tool-based role. Earlier, if a person used to learn one tool, he used to become DevOps. That, that's how it, easy it used to be to become a DevOps engineer. But now it's extremely competitive, not from the perspective of the competition per se, but from the perspective of the complexity added. At least one round of interview for DevOps is a coding round. Pipelines are coded. You won't code the pipelines using some tools anymore. You just write the code for the pipeline. Infrastructure is codified. Compliance is codified. Even security is codified. Now you no more give permissions, policies, uh, privileges from the dashboard anymore. You write those permissions. So they want a DevOps engineer to have all these kinds of uh, skill set. You need to learn at least one cloud, at least one operating system administration, either Linux or Windows, at least one scripting language, Bash or PowerShell. And there are 10 plus tools that you need to learn for DevOps. You need to get CK certified, Kubernetes certification, and one cloud certification at Solutions Architect professional level, and one Terraform certification. So it's a very overloaded role. But since you already had past experience in test automation, you know, learning all these things is not going to be complex at all. But this is the expectation in the market. DevOps over that is why you will see from most of the people in the market, oh, there are not many jobs in DevOps here. It's not worth really trying for DevOps. But in fact, there are good number of jobs, but then the perception of uh, DevOps in the people's mindset was completely different, which is why they're feeling hard to get the job.